And Overdrive Reality is back for another week. It is empty. <laughs> Mike Trinidad and look who's on the other side. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome back to the show Alex Rudolph. Who is, and the, who is this imposter? For those of you who don't remember, Alex was part of the show, you know, at the beginning. He stepped out for a little bit. Now he's back full time and welcome back, dude. How's it been? Uh it's been pretty good. Pretty good. Um off and on, but uh, pretty much I, I missed the roller coaster, and I think I'm back for the ride. It seems Ooh. like you're back for the ride, and we're glad to have you back, man. And you know, let's talk. You know, speaking of the ride, did you see about Tesla? The ride. Oh, uh, I mean, Tesla's got some of the sweetest rides out there. But controlling your Tesla on an Apple Watch. On an Apple Watch. You could summon the Tesla through the Apple Watch. I mean, like I can literally go on my Apple Watch and press a button, and the car comes pulling forward to me. So you, so Apple is turning you into Batman. Well, uh, essentially, if you think about it, like, um, harken back to uh, good old Iron Man. Iron Man had a Bugatti, and at the end of Age of Ultron, boom, hit the button on his car, and it drives up to him, starts up, rolls the window down, and it's ready to go. So they predicted that this would happen eventually. In the that, game. Yeah, pretty that, much. You, that's you, insanity, but h- how? So the, this it's guy shows... Marvel. It's, it's Marvel oh, no, I mean, Universe like, yeah, has predicted uh, Apple's future. That's, oh, that's But the thing is, so Apple, the uh, Apple Watch didn't really go anywhere. Like when it came out, it, it pretty much bombed Apple. I mean, a lot totally of agree. the heavy Apple people bought this watch. But not like you or me, uh, the three of us. We never went out and bought Apple Watch because it's like $300 for what? A watch that doesn't... It does cool things, but it's not gonna. I'm not gonna spend my money on it. Is this gonna bring Apple Watch back up to where it needs to be? Who the fuck owns a Tesla? Well, that's true too. Who owns a Tesla? I don't <laughs> the know. The people that can afford an Apple Watch. All right. So if I had a Tesla and I had the money for a Tesla, I mean Teslas are dope. I mean, don't get me wrong. Teslas are. If I, I mean, if somebody's gonna give me a free Tesla, sure, I'll, sure. I'll, I'll, I'll take a free Tesla. But say it's not free and say it's not anything. Would do, you do, still do, jump down and get an Apple Watch? Do, okay. Number one, do you know how much a Tesla costs? More than I have. Yes. Do you know how much Tesla costs? Oh yes, I do. They're they're running about a hundred thousand dollars a piece. No, that's I know. The, that's the Model S. That's very expensive. I, that's why I've discussed on a podcast before. If I was to get a Tesla, I said, "Screw that! Take all that money, put it towards something else, and I'll buy a six thousand dollar vehicle and pay twenty dollars a yeah, month, a month insurance, whatever." Yeah, because I was gonna say like. I probably have the most expensive car out of all of us, and it's not that expensive. It is not. What are you rocking now? I, I got I got my uh, uh, 09 Pontiac Solstice GXP. And what's that running? You? I bought it for eighteen. Yeah, ouch. Yeah, I mean it was it's it's I mean it's it's a nice car, but I mean it's he's not, always picking up the chicks from Chatterbait. Ch- checking up, picking up all them chicks though. But I mean like in the w- Pontiac, like, but like oh, in the a electrical fire is left and right. You never know when sparks will shoot. Oh yeah, but I mean like that's like nowhere near that. Like that's eighty-eight thousand dollars difference. Now that's imagine cr- if you had a Tesla and you'd be like, "Hey girl, you want to ride?" She'd be like, "What are you talking about?" And you'd be like, "Beep, bop, boop, boop, boop." Oh this shit! Guy. There you go. Oh there you shit! Go. Oh, that's legit. That's so, super legit. That 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 totally throws the investment value into it. Yeah, but but I mean, like one of the reasons that like chicks take my car is because I put a lot of I put some money into it, and it goes vroom vroom very loud. True. It, a but Tesla just goes. It's gonna go beep beep boop boop, and it's gonna be like. Pss. <laughs> and, and it's gonna it's not gonna make any noise so the next question is do you like them quiet or do you like them loud I like them loud I like to make all the noises now are we talking about cars or women all of them okay moving <laughs> on <laughs> all the things I don't know I like I like Teslas they're fast they're dope but I mean they if I had a hundred thousand dollars I would not buy a Tesla no if I had a hundred grand I'd be going to the studio oh no no I mean like for a car like if I was like if I had a hundred thousand dollars to buy on a car I would not use it to buy a Tesla no and I, I would all, and I would also not use it even if I if I had it I probably wouldn't get it if someone one. did write me a check and say here's a hundred grand you that hundred thousand dollars you could only buy a car with that hundred thousand dollars it would not be a Tesla mm-hmm. I'd no. be, and I wouldn't even buy a Ferrari I'd be like all right I'm gonna go get some classics and have a good time I'm not gonna sit there and waste my money on a Tesla yep. yeah in my eyes I'd take that hundred grand I'd buy something that's a beater fix it the hell up and make it a sleeper no one would know. That'd be fun. They'd be like, hey, that'd, that'd be super look fun. at that little ass Mazda. That Holy shit, what the hell? Where is it going? That, that would actually be pretty fun. I wouldn't mind a sleeper. No. When, no, see, I, I, I don't have a sleeper. I have a, it looks fast and it sounds fast. It's not, it's fast. Like, there's nothing to. Do you, now, when you pick up women, do you allow them to eat in, eat in the car? No smoking, no eating. So nobody's left six month old McDonald's in your car? No, sir. So, I mean, I don't know if you heard about that, but. A lady left inside of an office for six months, a McDonald's Happy Meal, the chicken nuggets and the French fries, and it did not rot. Like, it 
Oh. They took it out, took pictures. It looks the same. It. I mean, I don't know if it oh, tastes the oh, same, yeah. I mean, but, like, but that's how it's meant to be. I mean, that's that's what the whole pink ooze is for. I mean, just so that no matter no, dude, when and where. Have, haven't you seen the commercial with Grant Mahara where he's like, oh, trust me, I'm like a Chinese guy. So, like, uh, trust me because I was on Mythbusters and we actually use chicken in here. Like, you never seen those commercials? I don't watch TV. No, it wasn't on TV. It was on YouTube. It was I YouTube. don't watch YouTube. Oh. No, I'm just fucking with you. Uh, uh, yeah, I, obviously, you guys know who Grant Imahara is, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. I mean, he, 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 went to, he went to McDonald's, and they, they, he, they, he brought up the controversy of the, the pinkus. He's like, oh, blah, blah, blah. Uh, what, what's about this pink ooze? And they're like, there's no such thing as pink ooze. We use real chicken, blah, blah, blah. And I was just like, I trust you, Grant Imahara, because I used to watch you when I was a kid. So, yeah. I mean, would you, if somebody said, would you rather eat, um, I don't know, say some spoiled steak that's been sitting there for six months that you cooked underground and left there for six months, or a McDonald's Happy Meal, which one would you rather have? Well, I mean, if I the had... The chicken nuggets. I mean, the thing is, is you have to also take into consideration what they look like. You know what I mean? Like, All right. Looks aside, I think it all comes down to taste. I would totally eat whatever tastes better. Like I'd take, I'd totally take a bite of whatever's out in front of me and be like, okay, this beef is clearly green, <laughs> and you know it goes with these green eggs, and um, it tastes like ass. Yeah. But pink ooze or not, real chicken or not, if it's still preserved and it's still good, and you know what, I could pop it in and nuke it for like a minute, and it's edible. Yeah, I'm down. Yeah, I mean, I, w- I would imagine that the, I mean, I. My stomach doesn't fare well with most uh, fast, fast food. food. Yeah, uh, I, I kind of got a little girl stomach, but uh, I mean, as far as like the preservatives go, like I mean, McDonald's is chock full of them. I guess it would be less poison. T- at, I mean, even though I, then uh, a steak cut out, you know, like without any preservatives would be. I would imagine that it would probably give me less diarrhea <laughs> slash E. coli. But it would also even not. But if it were pink ooze, you don't even have to but worry be, but, about but, E. coli. But so, even, I mean, you're good to go. But even on top of that, even fresh McDonald's is still going to give me diarrhea. So like, it's it's, a, <laughs> it's I'm in a lose lose situation. Like so I, a little bit of Tums, and you know what? I'll I'll buy you a pack of toilet paper, and we'll try this out one day. Oh, no fun. No, thank you. I'll give pass. it six months. Give it six I'm, months. I, I, I'm going to go buy a steak, and I'm going to buy some McDonald's, and I say six months from now. We eat it. Uh, Mac Daddy's, if you want to send us a sponsor, send us some free food our way, I'll eat it and well, hurt myself. Well, what we Not can only do that, but if any hospital is watching this right now, in six months, we may be needing you. Yes. But that's so. the thing. In about six months or so, is Exotica coming to Chicago. Yes. We could just have one of the porn stars in Chicago try the McDonald's. Totally. Yes. Oh, yes. oh porn star diarrhea. Yes, there diarrhea. we go. Oh. There's a new, we just found a new porn title right there. Uh, porn Star Diarrhea. Oh, that's already a thing, dude. Haven't you yeah. seen Two Girls, One Cup? Yeah. I mean, oh. yeah. It happens. But oh. back in Exotica, the official dates for the Chicago Rosemont, um, July 8th through 10th. Um, and Overdrive Reality is going to attempt to go into Exotica. I don't know about attempt, but I'm going to be there. I don't know if you guys are going to be there. I'd, I would definitely like to be there. I think I've, we're I've all yet- going to be there. I've yet to go. I've never gone yet. I've never been to any of these sex expos. So the miss is at home. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to be there. But it's going to happen. Yep. And July 8th through 10th, the Midwest Premier Adult Entertainment Expo. Everything from your favorite stars to toys to you name it. Um, you guys are welcome, Exotica, for that plug right there. Oh, man, yeah. yeah. Spot, Exotica, give us money. You owe us. Now, but, give us money. Now, but wait a minute. So, but speaking of plugs. That's what I'm no, going to say. Mike, we're gonna plug what, what is... You're, what is up with you? You're on Chatterbait now? Uh, yeah, making that money from Chatterbait, guys. Uh, if you, if anybody's familiar with it, it is a cam site. Uh, I guess I'm a cam model. It's, uh, I'm going to be doing model. that. Model. Yeah, it's a cam model. Uh, I'm, I don't know how, uh, how far I'm going to be giving my reach to, like, because you can, like, uh, ban certain states. I don't know if it's going to be many of our viewers that are going to be able to be accessing He's it. He's looking for Slovakia. But, uh, but well, the yeah. point is, if you want, he's on there. Yeah, uh, link in the description. Link yeah, I'll put a, link, I'll, link I will gladly put a link in the description for you. Yeah, if I, if I, for I, anyone yeah. that wants to watch your chatterbait. So, but on that note, I think we since we talked about your chatterbait, we should wrap this thing up so you can get going and get to work. No, on dude, that why are we wrapping it up? I don't. I never wrap it. Well, no, 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 no. Oh, oh. Bam, 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 bam. Shots fired! Shots fired! <laughs> but we'll wrap it up on that note. But. 
I want to thank real quick. I don't know if you guys see the new headphones. We've got provided oh, yes. thanks to Kicker. And Kicker has provided us some brand new headgear. And they're actually going to be providing headgear for the whole Overdrive Reality team you'll see in the next few weeks. Thanks to Kicker and Tabor for hooking us up. Make sure you like us on Facebook, like us on Twitter, like us on Instagram. Do all that great stuff. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Subscribe. Share it with your friends. Like us on Chatterbait. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, yeah, like you yeah, on Chatterbait. Like me on Chatterbait. Like you on Chatterbait. Give, me, give me your money. I, I like and, money. And thanks again, everyone, for watching. And guess what? We'll see you next week. And Alex is sticking around, folks. He'll be around for the next for a long time. We'll see you guys here on Overdrive Reality. Wow.